release day is coming up here, just a couple days away, and we're hand stretching our mozzarella. Uh, Wilson here is taking, uh, just this is a cow's milk curd. Uh, the curd comes in this way. The curd was sep separated from the whey from some whole milk. And what, we're gonna, what Wilson just did was he diced up the curd. And now he's going to take a little bit of hot water. This water is at about 180 degrees with a little bit of salt. And the process for making mozzarella is to basically warm up the curd. Um, once the curd is warm, we're going to slowly and gently press it. Um, and he's just going to keep ladling some water to fill up that bowl. I'm over here, um, I'm going to be making something, a, a version of fresh mozzarella that's known as burrata, where I'm actually taking some of the curd that hasn't been stretched into mozzarella, and I'm just kind of breaking it up. I'm going to mix this with a little bit of heavy cream, and then in a moment, we'll take some fresh mozzarella and we'll make some little pockets with it, and we'll stuff it with this curd and cream to make burrata. Back over to Wilson here, he's, he's pretty much gone and filled the bowl with the curd and the hot water. And now the, the timing is just to kind of just kind of wait and see here. We just gotta go real slow, wait for the cold curd, which is at about you know 38 degrees from coming out of the refrigerator, to warm up. Uh, we're warming it up to around to where it's gonna start melting uh, and turn from these firm curds into a, a, a melted uh, mozzarella, which will start the stretching procedure. Filling it, okay, so now he's gonna drain a little bit of the water off. This was our first bath. It takes about at least three water baths to achieve the heat that we're looking for here. So he's gonna drain that water off. He's draining about, you know, 60 to 75% of the water, and now he's gonna add some more of this 180 degree water. Um, what he had poured off had dropped the temperature. It was probably around, you know, 120 degrees, which again, not quite hot enough, which is what requires the second bath. So if you, um, you can see down here, we have a little bit of ice water. Once the mozzarella is nice and hot, we'll stretch it. After we stretch it, we put it into the ice water, and the ice water here helps to chill the mozzarella uh, quickly and helps it hold its shape. So if you can see, Wilson is just picking up the mozzarella with the paddle and gently pushing everything together. As you can see, those curds from before that were kind of a mealy texture are starting to slowly melt and form into, for lack of a better word, a blob, if you will. And it's just going to take a couple gentle little presses. And again, now we're going to go and pour off this water. We're almost at our temperature here. And we're going to add a little bit more hot water. So this water that's in this bath that he's pouring off, I mean, this is barely high. We're looking at maybe 100 and 130, 140 degrees here. Uh, and again, the requirement is to be up around 180. That's that ideal temperature. Uh, in which the mozzarella starts to melt and come together. So with this third bath, he's going to pop his hands back in there and, and the same step as the second bath, just bringing it all together. And stretching it. Um, he's going to stretch it out. We're going to fold it over. Push it between our fingers. And we'll use his fingers to pinch it shut and his other hand to tear it off and then into the ice water. Long curd, the curd is stretched out into a long strand, folded over, curled under, pushed through two fingers, and then the fingers are squeezed shut. Use his other hand to tear it off and into the ice water. And as you can see, simple mozzarella ball.